Hi, my name is Randy Hugh, and in this video, we're going to man do a manual install of the Screw Turn Wiki application on a GoDaddy hosting service. So the first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> go to the Screw Turn Wiki site, and under Downloads, we're going to download the file system data storage. So the version here is 3.0.3.555, and we're going to download the files. Now I've already done that. And you'll get the zip file. And after you unzip the file, you'll get uh, the Screw Turn Wiki installation folder and all of the installation files. So under Web Application, we're going to want to FTP all of these files into a subdirectory underneath the root in our hosting service. So the next thing we're going to need to do is open up our FTP client. And I have this already set up. And after you log in, you log into the root. And you'll see if you already have subdirectories set up, you'll see those. And we're going to want to create a new subdirectory or a subfolder. So again, we go and we right click on the FTP client. We're going to click on new folder. And we're going to create a new folder name. And we create. I've already done this, so I'm going to cancel. And here is our new uh, subfolder or subdirectory. And then what we're going to want to do is copy all of these installation files into our new subfolder. So you, you would just highlight all these and drag and drop them into our new folder. So I've already done that here. You can see here's all the installation files for the uh, ScrewTurn Wiki application. And on the very bottom, we want to go to the web.config file. We're going to highlight this, click Edit, and this will bring up that file in our text editor. And what we need to do is change the password. And so I'm going to scroll down, and I can see right here where it says add, key is equal to master password. We have value is equal to, and in the, beneath the print parentheses, um, I've already changed the value here, so I typed in admin as my password. Here we go and save it. And we'll close out of the text editor. Okay, now what we need to do is go back into our GoDaddy uh, hosting account. So we want to navigate to the hosting control center. And again, just like blogengine.net, we're going to need to go into the hosting control center and change the permissions of our folders and directories. So I'm going to go to Content, File Manager. And we can see our uh, subfolder or subdirectory wiki. I'm going to click on that. And then I want to select the public folder. I'm going to click on permissions and I want to make sure that the permission that the, this folder has both read and write permissions and I'm going to reset all the children to inherit as well. Click OK. Now I'm going to go under content IIS management and here we're going to need to create a virtual directory. So I'm going to create and the directory name is going to be the exact same name you give your subdirectory. So in this case, wiki. And I also want to make sure I select set application root. And I'm going to click OK. So I've already done this. I'm going to click cancel. And then again, in the advanced section, you want to also check and make sure the pipeline mode is set to classic. And make sure you set that to OK. Now that you have all the permissions changed and the virtual root directory created, it's going to take about 30 minutes to three hours for the GoDaddy Hosting Control Center to resolve those changes. And then once it's um, set, you can now go and log into your um, ScrewTurn Wiki site. So it's going to be your domain name forward slash the subdirectory.
and then you can log in over here. I've got my username and password right now just set up for admin admin. Click login and now you're ready to configure the site, personalize it, add pages, and you are good to go. I hope this video helped. Thank you very much.